गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर फिट एंड फाइन एट होम येस एंड स्टडिंग एट होम ओके सो स्टूडेंट लेट्स स्टार्ट अवर सोशल साइंस क्लास इन सोशल साइंस क्लास वॉट वी आर डूइंग स्टूडेंट्स वी आर टेकिंग चैप्टर टू द नॉर्दर्न माउंटेन वॉल्स येस एंड इन दिस वी आर डूइंग द बुक एक्सरसाइज सो in this what we are doing the book exercise question and answer we are doing and till question number 6 we have done in earlier class now today we will do question and answers question 7 and question 8 question and answer right but before that students i would like to uh, say you something uh, or i will say that i would like to convey you something that i that some of the students must have been taken the books and the notebooks from the school yes so all those students who have taken the books and the notebooks from school of class 4th what they can do they can write the question and answers yes they can write the question and answers and the word power in their notebooks like we have completed chapter 1 question and answer and the book exercise and we have also completed chapter 2 book exercise and we are doing right now chapter 2 question and answer so what you can do you have to write question and answers and the word power in notebooks and the book exercise like fill in the blanks true and false match the following one word answer tick the correct answer these all things you have to do in your books only right so fill up match the following tick the correct answer one word answer this you have to do in the book and question and answers hot question and answer and the word power or you can say the new terms you have to write in the notebook in the fair notebook and those students who have not yet taken the books and notebooks from the school they can write the, these question and answer in the rough notebook only okay fine so now with this let's start our question and answer and the question which we will take today is question number 7 and what is the question 7 name the seven sisters so do you know what are the seven sisters yes what are the names of seven sisters so the seven sisters are assam arunachal pradesh meghalaya nagaland manipur mizoram and tripura so these are the seven sisters yes these are the seven sisters assam arunachal pradesh meghalaya nagaland manipur mizoram and tripura and these are the seven states of northeast india we call them as a seven sister so if someone ask you name the seven sisters the name of the seven sister are these seven states assam अरुणाचल प्रदेश मेघालय नागालैंड मणिपुर मिजोरम एंड त्रिपुरा ओके सो राइट डाउन दिस आंसर इन योर नोटबुक इफ यू हैव फेयर नोटबुक यू कैन राइट इट इन फेयर नोटबुक इफ यू डोंट हैव फेयर नोटबुक यू हैव नॉट टेकन फ्रॉम द स्कूल देन यू कैन राइट इट इन द रफ नोटबुक नाउ क्वेश्चन एट एंड वॉट इज क्वेश्चन एट स्टूडेंट दिस इज अ हॉट क्वेश्चन एंड लिस्ट द वैल्यू यू लर्न फ्रॉम nature one of this is forbearance explain others so forbearance is tolerance yes for what this does forbearance means forbearance means patience tolerance how patience we are how patiently we are working so this is one uh, value which nature has taught us what we have to do now we have to explain the other values which we have learned from nature so let's see what our what our nature has given us has given to learn us and the answer is there are many values which we learn from nature isn't it we learn so many values from our nature so the answer is there are many values which we learn from nature one of them is forbearance 
and other are as following. So, which are those values which we are learning from nature? And the second one is limitless freedom and potential available. So, nature teaches the limitless freedom and potential available to us that we have limitless freedom, we have freedom in our life and we have so many potentials, so many things to do available in the uh, to us in life. For example, birds taking off to fly for the first time can be scary and bring about feelings of the fear. Without taking the risk of the first flight, we cannot find the internal freedom we desire. We must dare to take our feet off the ground, spread our wings and soar. So, nature teaches that the freedom and unlimited, uh, limited, limitless freedom and potential available. Like for example, birds take the first fly when they are they're flying in the, in the sky. When they take a first fly, they are very scary. They are very, they are having a feeling of fear that whether they will, they will uh, be able to fly or not. But without taking in the risk, how they would be, how they would learn flying. So, they have to take the risk. We, uh, As the birds take the risk, we also have to take the risk uh, for, for overcoming our desire. If we want to have our wants and needs fulfilled in, in the life, we have to take first time the risk and we won't find the internal freedom we desire if we are not taking the risk in life. We must dare to take our feet off the ground and spread our wings and so, so this is one thing, one value which nature is teaching us. Now, the third value which nature is teaching us is self-offering, right? Nature is teaching us to be self-offering. We should offer the things which we are having to others. A tree embodies the quality of self-offering. How? It provides home, shelter for animals, birds and insects as well as offering shades and fruit to us humans also. In our own life, the quality of self-offering is most important to be self-giving in our own life and to offer things, services, smiles to others unconditionally will make you happy. Yes, so nature also teachers self-offering like for example trees has a quality of self-offering trees provide us home it also provide uh, provide shelter for animals birds insect and as well as it provides shelter to the human beings also it gives fruits and vegetables to the uh, to the animals as well as human beings yes and in our own life we should also have the quality of self-offering just like trees because if we are having this quality of self-offering, uh, things, services and smile to others without having any condition, without offering them any, uh, any condition in life, we will be happy. We will make ourselves also happy. The fourth quality which nature gave us, uh, teaches us is humility. Nature teaches us to be humble to be humanity. We should have humanity. Humility is needed in our everyday life. The vast ocean cannot exist without each particle of water. Isn't it? If uh, the water, if, if water is not available in ocean, uh, the existence of ocean is now nowhere. So, uh, each particle of water if uh, makes the ocean vast yes so if only we could all increase this quality in our own nature the world would be more peaceful place to live so if we all will inculcate the quality of humanity in our nature in our behavior then the world will be more peaceful we will feel more peaceful in the life and and this this world will look a peaceful place to live yes and the last quality which I am mentioning, there are so many others also, but I have taken only five qualities which nature is teaching us. The fifth quality which nature is teaching us is renewable and restorative power. So, what does this re renewable and restorative 
Power means nature, te nature teaches much more about how to renew and restore energy in ourselves. So nature teaches us that how we should renew our powers and energies and how we should restore the, our powers and energy in ourselves. Above all, remember to take time in your life to renew and restore yourself. So nature teaches us to take time for ourselves as we are nowadays very busy in doing other things but we are not having time for ourselves we don't have time to enjoy we don't have time for our family so we should have we should take time we should take out time for our family and ourselves also which help us to renew which help us to make us happy which help us to do what we want to do yes so meditate in nature so medit we should do meditation and we should we should inculcate meditation in our nature we should re self reconcile yes we should self realize that what we are doing what we have to do and we then we will become happy these are the five values which the nature is teaching us what are those five values first one is forbearance second one is humility third one is self-offering fourth one is yes what is fourth one fourth one is yes patience and fifth one is renewable and restorative power so these are the five values which the nature is teaching us so by this students we have completed today the question and answers also of this chapter yes and we have done the book exercise of chapter 2 yes so now those who have to taken the notebooks from the uh, school they can write the question and answers and the new terms in the fair notebook and do the book exercise like fill up uh, match the followings in and the take the correct answers uh, and match the followings in your book itself and those who are not still not having the books and notebooks uh, of class fourth what they can do they can write in the rough notebook when they will get the fair notebook they can write uh, write in fair notebook again okay till then take care of yourself and be happy thank you and have a nice day students